Elliot Nimrod will boot it for the Aggies with Davion Ross back deep for the Tigers. And a touchback to... You're hearing a lot of that with the transfer portal and NIL right now. Gabe Rogers on a jet sweep. Breaks a couple of tackles and gets to the edge. And Gabe Rogers is swung down just shy of the third. 32 yards. Watch in the alley. You need your safety to come up and make the play. Dom Taylor is a little bit late there for, and that allows him to get that chunk yard, explosive. Yeah, everyone's standing right in front of Hennigan. Under pressure and swung down. Daniel Greshik gets home, the team's leader in sacks from Utah State. They talked about the Prowler package where they only really came with three or four, but they were able to get there. Four wide receivers set for Seth Hedigan. Jay Docker is running back and Hedigan's under pressure again and down he goes. We'll see all three running backs cycle through for the Tigers. Quick throw, and watch out when it's Gabe Rogers with it. He tucked it, took off, and gets submarined out near the 50 by Mike on Yanwu. And Rogers always a threat to throw. Eddie Lewis, watch this block by 18. Good lock up there. You got to have that to get explosive plays. From the plus 45. Hannigan rolls, floats it downfield. He's got his man. Way back out, out of the play. <laughs> two, two guys still going at it, but really nice job of moving the puck. As Chris Howard comes on for a 26-yard try. And Howard starts the scoring here in Dallas. That's pretty good and yeah. pretty high ranking as well. We saw him pregame in the weight room, stretching. No sign of the javelin. Hey, Tony. It's a handoff to Calvin Tyler, and that is the best gain so far for Utah State. Tyler Murray, the tackle after a gain of 12. Getting after it, Calvin Tyler with a nice run, and Cooper Lagai making some plays now. And now he tried to spin away from pressure, but couldn't. Jalen Allen again, a very good pass rusher for Memphis, and it brings up third down. And now he faces third down and 13, and Lagai spins to create some more time, and now he's sworn. Final game of the regular season, missed from 52, kicked it too low. Sails this one, and on its way, and Coles drills it. Cycling through their running backs, we saw Sutton Smith on that last drive, and now a couple of good games from Asa Martin. Gets out to the edge before he's knocked down past the 45-yard line. He gets 15 yards. Utah State brings pressure. And across the middle, it's complete. It's Rock Taylor on the slant. He gets banged down inside the third. Home, Rock Taylor knows he has inside, and he has that outside leverage and can just take it. He's able to take advantage of A.J. Carter. A.J. Carter grabbing jersey but can't get him down. Pressure comes. Hannigan gets rid of it to Eddie Lewis for a touchdown. Yeah, that's easy pitch and catch. His pressure's coming from the outside. Look at him. He knows he's going to get hit. Defensive back A.J. Carter on the outside trying to play leverage. Byron Evans, Byron Vons is there. So Memphis starts with great field position at the 50 with the lead after forcing the turnover on downs. Jay Ducker out of the backfield, breaks free, and Ducker's got a first down. Four-man rush. Hannigan towards the end zone, and it is caught. It's Eddie Lewis again for a second score. Well, when you protect and you're able to run the football, and then when you have a chance to pass. Yeah, it scores. Well, when you have an offensive line that protects for you and you can get down the field, you're going you're gonna to do this. You're going to score and then say, oh, uh-uh, you can't, you can't stay with me. No, you cannot stay with me, man. Third down and seven. Legat pops. He's pressured. And down he goes. Cameron Jackson with the third Memphis sack in this first half. Third down and goal. Pre-scoring the tight end in motion. Hennigan to his left. Now he throws back for pre-scoring and a touchdown. Trash down there. He's coming from the other side. He's going to settle right in the zone, get across the goal line, and wait for his quarterback to throw to him. Touchdown. 
know, this play is designed where everybody just kind of loses the tight end. He's able to get there and find a way to become an offensive guy. I think he thinks he can play offense. Sixth year senior from Mississippi into a tight window on third down, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Silvante Oliver. See, Cobbs thinks he has it there, and Oliver comes over. It could have been pass interference, but they didn't call that one. He started as a city police officer and has worked his way up as a district attorney. Now that's big time yeah. stuff during this first responder bowl as Lagat took off. And he gets a first down, moves the sticks, 12 yards for Cooper Legault. Ryan Silverfield said it as well. We cannot let this team get back in the game because they just keep battling. They keep fighting. From the 33 on first down, Legault wrapped up and brought down. James Stewart, the sack, and the fourth one for this Memphis defense. On uh, second down and long. Fake the screen. Hannigan under pressure. And down he goes. It's Hale Motuapuaka, the fifth year senior from Honolulu. Move him off his mark. Man, nice job there. Just stand with it. Utah State disguising. Now they got one hand in the ground. Late play clock on third down and a mile. Ball comes out. Hennigan had it pop free, and Utah State comes up with it. Forced out by Motuapuaka, and Byron Vons comes away with it for the Aggies. Actually, Daniel Greshik knocks it out. Four-man rush. Hennigan up the right side, and he's got skates. Streaking into plus territory. Ajani Carter runs him down after 41 yards. Able to exploit it. And again, starting the other way, and when he comes back, he is wide open. Corner doesn't stay with him, and he's just got a running lane and an easy throw and catch. Oh, Hannigan escapes and then can't get away from Byron Vaughn, who sticks with him. A little tip drill for Terrell Vaughn. Davenport stands in, and he zips one over the middle. Brian Cobbs takes off for a Utah State touchdown. What was the one thing that they were worried about with Cobbs in open field? More like a, a running back, a guy that can be explosive, and he showed you there. Well, Cobbs on the dig route. You got Bishop Davenport finding him on the deep over, and then he's able to go to the house for six. And, yo, if you want to celebrate, young man, celebrate. Well done. Third down and goal. Ducker on a pitch, and Ducker's into the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, Memphis got tired of all that. They said, look, interior, we can't get it, but we're going to go outside. And Ducker is like, yeah, let me finish this touchdown for you. Look at the blocking up there. You got that trips up there, and then guys just coming off the ball, and Ducker. So it sets up third down and nine for the Aggies. Four-man rush. Davenport. Cobbs again inside the 25 on another completion and 19 yards to Brian Cobbs. Davenport definitely has a fastball. Does he have some, some change up? Can he throw it with a little lift over the safety, over the linebackers and between the safeties? He can fire the football. He throws into coverage and it's picked off. Second one of the game for says, okay, young fella. We like the fastball, but we're going to catch this one. So, Vontae Oliver just baiting, baiting. Look, yeah, almost two mine. Uh, Zay Cullens is there, too, who always likes to get picks. But so, Vontae Oliver with one on the year, two today. And so impressive. I know that is. Fifth-year senior from Honolulu. Ducker. Wide open fields. Untouched. From 43 yards out. Block that'll make you there. Look, opening up. Look at that hole. I could run through that. Ducker again with a huge touchdown. And, and Tim Cramsey said Jacob Lives is the MVP, like you mentioned earlier, of their offensive line. And they paved the way for another touchdown on the ground from Jay Ducker. Vaughn. Has a seam again. And 
that Terrell Vaughn's been electric in the kick return game here in the second half in the plus territory for Utah State. Just caught up and we saw him before the game, spending some time together. And I actually walked around the field a few times with Barnes just to talk to him as well. Williams is picked off in the end zone by Joel Williams. The guys that they want to keep, and that's what you want to do. I think both of these these teams have seen each other in bowls prep and bowl week. You spend a lot of time around these guys. You talk trash. You want to beat them. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.